good afternoon good evening good morning wherever you are hello welcome to our channel if you're new here i'm uh, we're pop and bear travels i'm dan i'm bob and today we're doing a day out at chedworth room and villa what's called it chedworth room and villa i think it's called that anyway it's national trust dog waiting to come in because we have to put him out when we film the opening vlogs because his claws on the tippy tappy floor we've got hard floors downstairs so uh yeah it's a national trust um we haven't been there before. Or oh, you think you've been there years ago? I went there years ago as probably a teenager with mm -hmm. my family. And I think my mum... Not that long ago then, if it was a teenager. Uh -huh. I think, yeah, my... Well, I remember it being a very wet day. Me and my little brother eating Mars bar mm -hmm. in the rain. So either my mum was pregnant with my sister or she just wasn't around then. Yeah. My little sister. So that's how long ago it was. Fair enough. So yeah, it should be a good day. So it's a National Trust, we're members of the National Trust, so we thought we might as well actually make use of it. Yeah. Because we, we've only used it once, so we've had it a few months, so. <laughs> uh, it's a lovely sunny day. <coughs> Oops, sorry, you can probably see in the background the sun coming in the back window. I might just go and quickly show you the garden so you can see that, but, and then we're gonna head off to Chedworth. So as promised, just gonna quickly show the garden. It's lovely weather. Got our like hanging baskets on there. The ponds we're currently redoing, so they're a bit of a mess. But yeah, lovely sunny day, as I said. This back end of our garden is where the dog's not allowed, but it's like our some tropical plants and stuff, so. But yeah, we're gonna head off now. We made it to Shedworth, so we're just walking up Country Lane. On the wrong side of the thing. Oh yeah, there's no cars coming anyway. But yeah, it was a good journey, only about half an hour. Yeah, too bad. Sun's out, sun's shining. But the, look at the amazing views we've got from here. Beautiful, right? Isn't it? Yeah, the countryside. We do. Far from Swindon is always beautiful. Yeah, um, we do have some amazing countryside in the this UK. Is Cotswolds, yeah, this is the Cotswolds. So, so as you walk up, you come past. This is all accessible parking, but um, I'm assuming because it said accessible parking this way. See parts of the villa over there. I think there is some inside bits as well, but yeah, that's cool. Right, we made it in, that was quick and easy. Um, we're just heading out of the visitor centre. There's a visitor centre, all plants. Don't tell Bob there's plants for sale. Keep walking. So on the website. I know. So these are the grounds. Got a little model of what it used to look like, how it looks of it. It's cool. It's a nice day to be doing it as well. This is toilet block and kitchen. Look, here's the latrine. We only bring you the quality content here on our, our channel. So the toilets. Uh, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure how it would have been set up. Does it show any pictures of what it actually would have looked like? Was it just a pit? I don't know. No. So I'm sure. Reading it. Bob's reading it. He'll give us all the information. He can be our tour guide. I'm not very good at um, reading things in places like this. I'll have to read. On the left as we come in we got what looks like to be the main kitchen yep main kitchen so there's ground dining room via the adjacent gallery and this is where the oven would have been i never know i never know how they know that this was the oven i'm assuming there would have been some kind of remnants when they dug it up but yeah quite interesting so we're just standing in the kitchen and Bob just said According to the sign over there, everybody would have had to have walked through the kitchen hmm. to get to the toilet Just, just over there. there Obviously the remnants weren't sure how the disease is spread It was about you'd have like the wooden benches with the holes in it for you to sit on Okay Sponges on sticks for all um, cleaning purposes and the water was running through it to wash it all away Lovely So glad we live in the modern era <laughs> 
Though I would say we do live in the modern era, but people still don't know how to keep themselves clean and wash their hands after they go to the toilet. <laughs> so I don't think it's much different really. Then they wash their hands during COVID. No. We got oh, this is the this is the furnace. for the heating system, isn't it? Yeah. Furnace for underfloor heating. Nice. Do you remember the name of underfloor heating? Uh hypercourse. Like it does kind of help that it says on there that it's hypercourses. Does that kind of help with the words? <laughs> but yeah, I remember, so. Yes, this looks like it's some mosaics. Ooh, walking over one. I'm always amazed at how well preserved these type of things are. Fascinating. Wow. I know we're going in there in a second, but it's amazing to think that however long, what was it, a few thousand, a couple of thousand years, or people would have been walking over these floors. It really humbled you to realise that you're just basically a dot in time, really. I think sunglasses off, shouldn't I? Got the lobby. I've got the grand dining room on this side, which that kitchen bit outside said that would have served this grand dining room. It's a bit of a picture of it, what it might have looked like. sound on to make it sound like you're in the dining room. The witch? Got the what? Oh. That's cool. Then you can see the underground, what would have been part of the underground heating, I assume, the hypercourse. It's amazing the Romans had underfloor heating and we don't even have it, as in us, personally. I know some people have underfloor heating but we haven't got it, so... Right? Okay. Is it going to be a full... Is it in this room? There he is. <laughs> the answer to that question is yes. Now we're in the ante room. Okay, this is where the guests would assemble before dinner. Oh, this floor's creaky, it makes me nervous. standing in the lobby. So we've got like a children's area in here. The looks of it. thing here you can feel what the mosaics feel like. Mosaics. That's cool. Ah, they got a whole picture of what it would have looked like. So what, where are we then? Kitchen. Stein, so there's the latrine. Oh, it's a gallery. So it must have been here, this must have been the dining area. Mm. It doesn't really line up, I suppose, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because there's a tree outside in the kitchen. And we sort of, so we must be in this part. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So that means we're in this part up here. Yeah. 
because there's the latrine. Mm. And that's the, yeah. Cool. Here you've got the um, hypercore, so you can see underneath how it would have been constructed. Showing you how the hypercost would have worked. It goes up and around as well, I didn't realise it did that. I knew it was on the floor, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah. More sophisticated than our heating systems now. <laughs> Just in case you want to, here's a depiction of what Bob was explaining when using the latrine. Heading down towards the steam baths. tree stump shows the ground level back in the 1800s before it was excavated. Cold room here, warm room there. Cold plunge bath. You've got a hot tub. Wow. Mm. You can see the hypercoast below. Mm. Then all the mod cons. Mm. So here we've got the longest mosaic of its kind in Britain apparently. You can see the steps up into the buildings. That's cool. It goes all along Lois as well. Oh, this is the boiler room. This is what would have heated the underfloor heating that looks it. And the. Um, yeah, and. Um, so what I was thinking of. And the spa like area, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, supplies heat and hot water to the bar, so okay. Let's put the water shine here. Maybe me chuckle walking up to this because we've been playing um Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. And water shine makes me think of Zelda. <laughs> so we don't have any uh, bosses to fight here. They got like the pool of water there, which is still there. Listen closely, can you hear the trickling water? Yes. That's cool. Wow. It still looks cleaner up on them. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> This has been here a lot longer than our pond at home. Mm. I'm assuming it's been cleaned at some point. I wonder if this was like still open on the grounds before they excavated. Possibly. Because the water's still trickling through, so I, I do wonder. So the spring water was directed to the villa through stone channels. Oh, yeah, okay. It doesn't say whether it was like here. I wonder if somebody added it's like a water feature on the grounds, but maybe not. Coming along to some more, another bathhouse. It's the North Bathhouse. You've got dry heat baths. I think that's like, um, like our saunas. <laughs> dry heat rooms, what's it say? So these were very hot individual cubicles. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
cold baths here, immersion baths and plunge baths. Alcove. Seating or display area off of reception hall. I'm assuming this is a channel of the water from the. Oh, yeah, that might make sense, yeah. Run down through here. Yeah. Got another lobby here. Controls access to inner chamber. What have we got here? Room with recess. Hmm. Doesn't say what was in here, but again, you can see the. Again, you can see the um, what I'm assuming is part of the underfloor heating system or drainage system. Third century, so there's a sign over there, so something third century. So. Says third century Stoke Hole for room 26. Okay. So just, there's a lady here who's an expert in Roman textiles. Mm. I just had to say to um, a couple that stood next to her that back in those days they would have been making a pair of socks eight hours a day would have taken them a week to make one pair of socks. That's how long it took to do their uh, woolen method with all the fabrics or whatever fabric she was using. I wouldn't have the patience for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, stone pillars are part of the underfloor heating hypercost. Wow. Few. Yeah. It's a multi purpose heated room. Then you can come up the lobby to the heated room. So they've cordoned off this because there's some wild um, and rare orchids in here. We're trying to figure out which ones they are, but we think they might be these ones. I don't think you can see it. Oh, it's another fine room. <laughs> Another lobby coming up. Access to a joining room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they're they cordon them off to help with the wildlife, that's cool. You don't need to go into them really, do you? So it's just yeah. nice that they're doing that. They're not trying to preserve just the villa, they're also trying to preserve wildlife and flora and fauna. So that's good. Yeah. Picnic area down there, that's nice. Nice place to have a picnic. Oh, a second kitchen. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm smelling those. If it's all the same with you. We have a summer dining room here. It is a very nice view. Might get a picture of that to be honest. So relaxing. It's a bit of a far cry from the Pinsane event the other weekend, or last weekend. Mm. That was chaotic. <laughs> Fun. This is definitely quiet tranquil. Yep. What have we got here? Oh, this is the museum. Museum and lodge. Okay. So 
literally built to house the finds. That's cool. First on site for the museum in Europe. Things to keep the kids involved, it's good. Filmed some stuff in the museum, but it's so quiet in there and it's small, so we didn't really talk. But um, come back outside. It's a nice little artifacts. Do you enjoy looking at the artifacts? Yeah, nice to see the little small little bits you'd lose otherwise. Yeah, it's amazing what survives that many that many years, really. Yeah. We've got um, what looks like a. So I just saw the word greenhouse somewhere, but yeah, I swear I did. The green is on this board over here. I don't know, maybe I'm imagining it. Bizarre. But anyway, yeah, we've got um, Cross Gallery and Lower Courtyard here. Oh, Gatehouse. There's a Gatehouse. Maybe that's what I saw. And I just made it Greenhouse in my head. Formal entrance to the Upper Courtyard. Okay. I don't know how high the actual original, so if that tree stump in there was at the original level of mm. the ground, was there still a slope or was it like we'd be underground now? Because it's quite high up, but I don't know whether it was that high up all the way across or whether it was still sloped. Mm. This is the lodge. I'm assuming like caretakers and people live here, potentially. Maybe it's a staff area, could be. We're walking by the south wing, we've got the domestic offices. I can't read that from here. One of three service rooms used by servants, slaves and ex-slaves. Interesting. High status rooms are this way as well, apparently. I wonder how much more information you get on the audio tour, but we wouldn't be sort of an audio tour over here. No, I know. We'd have to give facts from it as we go through. Go back in that yeah. Ooh, stairs look a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Projecting room. Architectural feature matched across courtyard. Okay. I'm assuming you live that way. Okay. So this way, I thought when it said projecting room, it was something for projecting something, and I was thinking that doesn't make any sense, but mm. it means it's sticking out basically. Yeah. <laughs> and not very bright sometimes. Right, we're in the shop now. It's a little bit loud, but. Yeah. Yeah. And some marble, not Plant bomb. Seed bomb. Yeah. 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 Y
I was just like collecting coins when I was younger. But it makes more sense to try and get authentic ones. Caesar coin magnet. Yeah, tiny coins. Some of my favourite things to collect when I was younger crystals. That's cool. I do wonder how many of them are real or whether they're like. And that definitely looked real. That's cute. This looks cute. A cake slice. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I got Sony. Gems at home, though, I really should sort them out at some point. Yeah, storage, yeah. storage, yeah. So they've got the shop, um, but they've also got a cafe here. A section of hot sausage rolls, sandwiches, etc. Drinks. Mm -hmm. Second hand bookshop. And then there's the eating area inside and out over there. Cool. So you know. We've decided we're going to go somewhere else to try and save a bit of money because it all looks nice but um, a little bit out of our price range right now. Just because the sausage rolls are like three pounds and um, we could go to somewhere like Greg's and get it cheaper. Not as authentic though. <laughs> just trying to save money where we can. Just on the way out, um, just before we we go, you've got the opening times here, and also mission prices. Um, we don't have to pay the prices because we pay the membership, so that's fine. And then you've got like a picture of the overall site. That's right about the visitor centre, and here's the visitor centre here, and that's where you go through to get in. We do have audio guides um, for free, which you can use. We decided not to as we were vlogging. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll come back another time and try it. But we're now going to go and try and find something to eat somewhere. Yes. I'm not sure where, but <laughs> we'll find out. Nice pleasant walk back out of the villa. Look at the countryside. Do you need to get back out in the country at more. Yeah, definitely. Some great views. Especially with the weather nice now. Look at the view there. Get a picture of that, I think. Probably looked at this on the way down, but <laughs> she was coming to town centre from Thingy with Bob from Chedworth. This is what our shopping centre looks like. Dead. Yep, it's like this. Close, 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 close. Pretty much looks like this all the time. Even like. No, those are closed down. They're all closed down. Oh, it looks like um, Bosworth is closed down. Ah, oh, it's moving the huge. No. Oh, they have moved, okay, at least that's something. Yeah, it's not great, you know. And they created the area called The Crossing, um, which is sort of this bit up ahead, which is like a food court. It didn't really encourage people to come. So like, this shut down. I think there was a cafe place over there, but that shut down. Vegan place, Vegan place, place shut down. And things that need to seem to survive, things like chopsticks and subway up there. But I'm not sure whether this is still going, because I never see it open. I'm just walking through town and there's lots of stitch in the Disney window and Disney. Disney. One of the jewellery shops, I can't remember which, oh, Vet F Hines. If you can hear in the background, that's the um, Jesus preachers. And yeah, they're always out of the weekend. Yeah. Police presence this time for some reason. Yeah, no, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, they're over there. We're going back to the crossing, which we were at earlier, to get something to eat. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like Angelina Jolie as well. Gee, it looks like Blake Will Smith. Does, yeah. Queen of Hearts doesn't get anything like Queen of Hearts, though. No, it doesn't. Maybe like that. She has to be supposed to be, anyway. An evil queen in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Such a romantic. I bring Bob to all the classy places. Subway. 
Both got a pizziola. See what it's like. Eventually. Right, we're home now from Tibworth and yep. town. We went and had some lunch in town, which you would have seen. Oh, I can't keep the camera up straight, um, which was just Subway. Had something new, but yeah, I don't think I'll have it again. Yeah. It was alright. But yeah, did you enjoy Tibworth? Yeah, so we weren't there very long, but it was lovely to see that sort of stuff. We, we like the, uh, anything like Roman and stuff. Yeah. Not that we've seen much of it, but uh, I've got my little uh, book to read through. Yeah. Guide. And I'm sure they'll be putting some little facts on the screen on the vlog. Maybe. Yeah, it's good. I'd recommend it for anyone. Um, I think the price is quite expensive for what it is, though, because there's not much there. For us, obviously, we didn't pay anything because we're paying the, the um, membership. membership. Yeah. But there's not a lot there to see. So I don't know whether it's worth it if you had a big family. I don't mm. know, I'm not sure, personally. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I always enjoy Roman villas and anything like that. So always good. But yeah, you got your, your guide to read through, which is good. And we didn't buy any souvenirs, which is good of us. There's plenty that we did like, but money. The said money. Yeah, the only thing we did buy on the way back is we went to Swindon, obviously, as you saw. And I bought some descaler and I just descaled the kettle. The excitement never ends in this house. I know. You needed doing to ban out to scale a little while ago, so but yeah, it's a good thing to end the vlog on. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Anything else you want to add? No, no, but if you I'm just gonna do just about to do the same thing, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like the video because it really helps out. And make a comment on comment below if there's any um National Trust places that you suggest we go to. Um, not too far from Swindon, I was gonna say, preferably the south part of England just because we're down there, but, yeah. but yeah, let us know. And um, subscribe. Subscribe, yep, yeah, if you want to see more from us. We have got our holiday coming up soon, so there'll be a big vlog for that. So that'll be good on our cruise. Yep, yeah, less than a month now. Yep. And yeah, you can find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, all of which are Pub and Bear Travels. So. And we're also at www.pubandbeartravels.co.uk or .com. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, thank you very much for Olivia. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope to catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.